peace 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 good morning good morning how's everyone out there hope everyone is doing well y'all it's cold this morning i mean where i am i'm in north florida right y'all people up north would say, would say that this weather is actually good but i'm telling you to me because i'm coming from south florida up to north florida it's cold to me. This house is cold. So I got on my little pink robe. But anyway, so I'm here today to talk about another another matter. Alright. Today we're going to be talking about addictions. And I'm hoping to shed a lot of light on some, um, a lot of light on this topic period point blank okay um so if at some point you were work you were walking in darkness i'm hoping that this video actually gives you some light all right we all suffer from them addictions everybody everybody we all suffer from them in some form or another it is very important that we know that okay and it's also very important that when we're discussing this matter that we are open-minded and we are willing to expand our consciousness, okay? Because that is the only way that we'll be able to get to the root of the problem and that's the only way that we can solve the problem and that's by getting to the root of it, right? Okay, cool. All right. So when we talk about addiction, some of the things that we that come to mind would be an addiction to a narcotic drug, all right? An addiction to alcohol. Maybe some of us are, um, maybe for some of us, an addiction to sex comes to mind, all right? And that's very important. That is very important because that's one of the things I really want to touch on, okay? But first, I want to, you know, make you aware of how you can um, identify an addiction or whether or not you have one, okay? Um, you could be a person who is addicted to sugar, who is addicted to sweets, and the thing is, is that if you are addicted to sugar, and cupcakes and sweets and shit like that, more than likely you are, you have a, um, a mindset, right, where you feel that you cannot resist certain desires, okay? That you give in to certain desires um, quite easily, you understand? So it manifests in your external environment within the relationships that you have or that you're trying to establish with other people. So it could be a situation where, you know, you don't really, you can't really get along with people that you don't like because they're not sweet to you they're not buttering you up and when it all comes down to it they're not lying to you okay um believe it or not we do have people in the world who um can only relate to you if you're lying to them okay if you are buttering them up if you are telling them nice things or if you're saying nice things to, to them or if you're agreeing with everything that they say you know because the moment you disagree with them then it's all out war you understand okay a lot of times you'll find that this type of addiction it manifests within your own within your health you know what i'm saying like i said you'll also come to find out this person also likes a lot of sweets, all right? Now, when we start talking about sex and addictive characteristics, one of the ways that you can identify whether or not if you have an addiction to sex is 
if you are with a partner, okay, and if your partner denies you for whatever reason, okay, and you get angry, all right, even if you don't say nothing, just by you becoming angry, all right, is an indication that you have an addiction, all right, and is letting you know that you need to get in control of it before it gets in control of you, okay? So you'll know when it's out of control because when your partner denies you and you get angry and you allow it to show, okay? You allow it to materialize in your external environment to the point where it creates negativity, all right? That's when you know that your addiction is out of control. All right? So the first sign is getting angry but not reacting. That sign is letting you know that you need to get control over the situation before it controls you. The next one is when you're acting out of control as a reaction to um, someone denying you or telling you no. All right? Because... The whole point is, is that you want to first come to realize your addictions, then you want to acknowledge them, and then you want to seek a way to break free from them, okay? Find another way to channel that energy, because I do understand that um, a lot of us are very passionate we're born that way we're very passionate and if we don't understand how to channel that energy it can manifest in a negative way in such a way that it will create self-destruction okay now if you're suffering from addictions all right you also have codependencies because they're one and the same, actually. You also have codependencies, which means that you are dependent upon something outside of you in order to stay alive or to feel good or whatever the reason may be, okay? You have a dependency, something that is overpowering you, is controlling you, okay? A lot of us suffer from codependencies where we get involved with certain people and we feel like we have to have them. They are supposed to be in our lives, okay? And with that comes a certain mentality, a certain mindset. And if we believe that, then that's where we start to create problems in that relationship. And instead of strengthening it, we end up destroying it. Okay? Because along with certain mindsets that we create, we also create attachments. All right, So with attachments, there also comes expectations. So we're e expecting that person to live up to a certain idea or a certain, um, let's stick with idea. We're, we're, we're expecting all right, that person to live up to a certain idea idea that we have created in our own head and when that doesn't happen then that's when the problems come in all right so the opposite of addiction would be self-reliant okay and that's the whole thing we want to reach a point where we can become reliant upon ourselves even for sex even for sex okay but we, we gotta first understand that Nicole. Nicole. Okay, so regarding sex, at some point in our lives, right, we have to come to a conclusion to what's important to us, you know? Is it temporary pleasure or a deeper, longer lasting fulfillment, you know? What's important? What's important to us? You know, at some point, especially you younger people, you're going to be faced with that. And you're going to have to choose. <laughs> you're going to have to choose. So it's really good to get in the practice now of um, controlling yourself and disciplining yourselves. 
You understand? Okay, now back to the codependency issue. You know, some people are actually addicted to other people. They feel like they have to have these people in their lives. Even though they didn't come into the world with these people, or these people were nowhere around when they came into the world, they feel like that they have a need for these people. They have to have them in their lives. And those are the people that we hear about on the news who killing their spouses. You understand? That's what happens. These addictions, you know? The addictions that we have move us to get in control of them. All right? Because addictions also create slavery. That is the source of it. Our addictions, the inability to resist or to say no or to deny oneself, to deny compulsions. All right? That creates addictions. Smoking my white boy today, y'all. I don't like this paper, man. This is a Bob Marley hemp paper, right? Y'all know about that. But this one is like that thick one. It kind of feel like toilet paper to me. I like the one that's really, really thin. You can almost see through it. But anywho, enough about that. And see, that's the reason why I abstain or I practice abstinence from time to time because I don't like the feeling of something having control over me. You understand? I don't like the, I don't like the feeling of something holding me down or holding me back or keeping me from progressing. You understand? I don't like that feeling. Oh God, I don't like it at all. The moment that I feel like something is holding me down or trying to keep me back, I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. And I don't mind closing one door because I know another door is going to open. You understand? And I know, and I close doors on purpose just so that we I can open another door. <laughs> Yes, indeed. That's exactly what I do for real, y'all. So this is just a little short video. I had to pause it once because my crazy-ass daughter was coming in here making a whole bunch of noise. That 19-year-old one, I just heard the, I just heard the 13-year-old one in there laughing. She's supposed to be doing homework, schoolwork. Eavesdropping ass. <laughs> all right so yeah i just want to touch on that a little bit you know i want to share what i you know um what i know about the matter because i have been uh dealing with addictions addictions that other people have but as well as my own you know um and i just thought it was a good piece of information to share out there because a lot of people you know they have yet they haven't yet realized their addictions or that they have addictions. They walk around like they're perfect. And they're not perfect because if you look into their lives, you will see that they have addictions. You understand? Addiction is spending money. Addiction to people is the, is, is the biggest thing. If you got a problem with being alone, you know, something is wrong. Something is seriously wrong. If you got a problem with being alone or if when you're alone you feel like you're bored, you know, that just goes to say you're not using your time, you know, effectively, you know. But that's another video. I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to touch on that in another video. But I'm going to go ahead and close this out right now, guys. I want to thank you for tuning in. And, you know, sitting down talking with me on this cold morning. I'm going to come back later on the day. I got so much to talk about. I'll come back later on the day. And I got a lot of time on my hands. So I say I might as well be productive, right? I might as well be productive. I might as well go on out there and feed my people, right? That's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, it's, your, it's up to you if you want to eat. Peace. The Black Moon.